one, two, three, let's switch this up. Hey guys. Long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a hot minute, but literally, I just suck at being consistent when school is involved. If all I was doing was working and content creating, honestly, I would be fine. But school literally is so hard for me personally. And I've grown to like hate it more and more. I don't wanna say hate, but that's just how I feel. I feel like when you're in college, you have to tell people, Oh, I love it. School's going great. Yeah, it's hard, but I, it's good. I love it. But in reality, I hate it. I hate it so much. I do love my professors. They're all great. Amazing. Love them. But I don't have any friends in any of my classes because everyone's so freaking awkward, just sits down, goes on their phone, listens to the lecture, and then as soon as it's over, they walk out and leave. Even my one class where I'm forced to be in a group project the whole semester, we only talk about school, our project, and that's it. Nothing else. Makes you kind of like not want to go to school at all. Because I feel like when you're in high school, yeah, you don't like school in high school, but at least you have all your friends that you look forward to seeing every day. And I've just been in the worst slump ever. Like, I kid you not, the past two to three days, Jeff has had to literally drag me out of bed. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. One, I'm already not a morning person. Two, if I'm extremely unmotivated, don't see any purpose in my life. I don't want to get out of bed. And like, obviously, once I'm up, I'm okay, I guess. But like, the process of getting up, he literally drags me out of bed. Pulls a blanket off, grabs me by my feet, pulls me up by my hands until I'm standing. I'm literally acting like I don't have homework, I don't have a project to do, I don't have a house to freaking clean, I don't have dogs to walk. Like, why am I... I genuinely don't understand what's wrong with me. It feels like mono. I've had mono before. And... All you want to do is sleep. That's all you want to do. I went to sleep at, what time was it? 7.30 p.m. And I didn't wake up until 8.30-ish. I slept for over 12 hours and I'm still tired. I don't know what this vlog is supposed to be. But honestly, I'm just filming whatever I can because I'm tired of not posting anything. I'm tired of not being consistent. I'm tired of it. I guess I'm just going to film to force myself to actually do stuff today. Because I swear, if my group project group... Wait. If my school group texts me today saying, Hey, are you almost done with your part? Bitch, I haven't even started it. I haven't even looked at it. I haven't even opened it. And it's stressing me out the more I don't do it. Yet, on the other hand, I'm just sitting here like, I'm, I don't want to do it. I'm just going to force myself to do stuff today. If you want to do the things you want to do, you first have to do the things you don't want to do. But, good news. I finally am able to have my dog full time. Because if you didn't already know, me and my ex roommate Jordan, we shared our dog Draco. Because we got him together, which I regret. I've regretted ever since I did it. Personally, felt like I took more care of him and this and that. But we did split costs like of everything. And like in January, I asked her if I could get full custody of him. Because it's very difficult, because we don't live together anymore, right? It was fine when we lived together, but we don't live together anymore, and having a dog jump from two completely different environments every week, every two weeks, is not good for them at all. Obviously, if you don't know, animals and kids 
need like a routine in order to be like comfortable and like follow the rules and act right and just be good that was explained terribly but y'all understand what i'm saying basically i would try to like train draco or like teach him a certain way like for example here he's not allowed on the couch and certain foods he needs to eat and can't eat and this and that but then he'll go over to her house and do the complete opposite and it just messes everything up like his behavioral issues are all over the place his digestion gets messed up every time he comes back like i don't know i'm just glad that i have him full time now because not only is it something that i want it's something that will be beneficial for him i don't mean to sit here and just complain and bitch about my life because my life is not that bad it's really not i'm just in a slump and i need to get out of it i just feel like crying for no reason literally no reason do you feel like i'm just bitching mm -hmm. love you love you too i know it's hard my life is not even that hard. I know, but I know school's in there. I'm just in a slump right now. We'll get out of it. I also tried filming like a week ago, but realized that I lost my memory card for my camera. Ignore <laughs> the fast food in the back. That's part of our part of my slump that I'm in. It's just the house is a mess because I don't feel like doing anything. Today, I'm going to make a to-do list, but I don't want to put too much on it because I don't want to discourage myself if I don't finish everything because it's already... What time is it? It's already almost 10 o'clock. And I have to work tonight. And it takes me like an hour to get ready for work. So that's already like a lot of time chunked out of the day. But I'm gonna start my group project, so at least I have something, I've looked at it, I know what I need to do. Finish another assignment. I think I have a quiz. I have an online class at 11.15 I need to do. I also need to remember to eat, because. Eat, eat, eat. I'm trying to gain weight. Oh, and I've been reading more. I just finished this book right here. Um, it was all right. I'm not going to say this was like a waste of money because I did enjoy some of it. Let me go get the book that I'm currently reading. So I'm currently reading The Four Agreements. I've only read one and a half chapters. And I already love it so much. Like, this is such a good book. And I feel like it opens your eyes to, like, things that you didn't notice before. Like, things that you didn't think about before. And it's, like, things that you want to apply to your life that I genuinely think will make my life or my mindset a lot better. You guys have probably seen this book before because I feel like everyone recommends it. And I will be the next person to recommend it to you because no, I haven't finished it yet, but it is so good. Like, I don't even need to finish it to know that this is a great book. And it's such a, like, small, short book that you can, like, go back to, like, oh my gosh, can I say, like, one more time? You'd think after taking three to four speech classes or, like, speech classes for three to four years, I would know how to freaking talk, right? But I can't, still. <gasps> Y'all hear that? <laughs> Jeff has been doing his stocks in our office. This is his setup. Kind of cool, right? But while he's like doing his stocks and studying and whatnot, he listens to lo-fi music. Sometimes it's like hip hop or Japanese, but right now he's listening to Avatar Lo-Fi. Mm 
That's some good music? Huh? That's some good music? Yeah, sorry, I forgot you were recording. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, yep, there's my, um, what you call it? Mood board? What's it called? Bro, literally words are not counting in my head right now. Anyways, that board that I made with y'all in that one video, I put it right next to my office. So it's something I can look at every single day. And it hasn't been doing too much for me, to be honest. Maybe because I'm not like looking, looking at it. I just like know that it's there. I'm gonna finish eating my breakfast while I watch Lauren Geraldo. I'm catching up on all her videos because she's one of my favorite YouTubers. And yeah, I'm just gonna watch her while I finish my food, my breakfast. So, bye. Are you in the backyard, baby, with a barbecue blazing on a Saturday? Yeah. yeah. House party jumping so loud, Chris Stylo was sipping when he sleep and he say.